The Battle of Bouvines, fought on July 27, 1214, in northern France, wasn't just another medieval skirmish. It marked a turning point that ended the Angevin Empire's dominance and forever shifted the power dynamics in Europe. How could a single battle have such a transformative impact? The answer lies in a complex tale of ambition, alliances, betrayal, and a fiercely contested battlefield that saw the fall of powerful rulers and the rise of new ones. At the time, King John of England ruled a vast and sprawling empire that stretched across England, parts of Ireland, and significant territories in France, including Normandy, Anjou, and Aquitaine. However, his grip on these lands was crumbling. A decade earlier, King Philip II of France had successfully ousted John from Normandy. Determined to reclaim his lost lands and restore Angevin influence, John formed a coalition against Philip. John's plan was ambitious but fragile. He enlisted the support of his nephew, Otto IV, the Holy Roman Emperor, and rallied the Counts of Flanders and Boulogne, who had grievances of their own with the French king. Together, they formed a formidable alliance, hoping to surround and weaken Philip's forces. John aimed to land in western France to incite revolts in Aquitaine and Anjou, while Otto and the Flemish forces would march on Paris from the north. Despite meticulous planning, John's strategy failed spectacularly. On July 2, 1214, John suffered a crushing defeat at La Roche ux Moyne near Angers. Without John's support, Otto and the Northern Coalition found themselves in a precarious position. Sensing his enemy's vulnerability, Philip swiftly moved north to meet the remaining coalition forces. The confrontation took place on the marshy plains near Bouvines and Tournay in Flanders. Philip's army of approximately 7,000 to 9,000 consisted of heavily armored knights, disciplined infantry, and skilled archers. The coalition forces, slightly larger with around 9,000 to 10,000 troops, comprised Flemish, English, and German soldiers led by Otto. The stage was set for a decisive battle. As Philip's forces moved west toward Lille, they were temporarily slowed by a narrow bridge. Alerted to the coalition's approach, Philip turned his army to meet the threat head-on. The battle began with a fierce cavalry clash on the French right wing. Meanwhile, Otto's forces surged forward in the center, their infantry bolstered by soldiers from the Low Countries. Initially, they made progress, pushing back Philip's troops. In the thick of the fight, Philip's bravery and strategic command shone through. As the coalition's infantry advanced, Philip, aided by the cunning strategist Garin, a hospital or knight, rallied his knights and pushed the enemy back. On the French left, William Longsword, the Earl of Salisbury, was captured, weakening the coalition's morale. The French cavalry on the right also achieved victory, capturing Count Ferdinand of Flanders. The battle reached its climax when the coalition center, led by Otto, broke through and momentarily threatened Philip himself. However, with remarkable coordination, the French wings closed in, trapping and cutting off the coalition's central forces. Renault of Boulogne made a desperate last stand, but was ultimately captured. Otto barely escaped with his life, retreating from the battlefield in defeat. The Battle of Bouvines was brutal. Estimates suggest over 1,000 coalition soldiers were killed, and many more were captured, including influential leaders like Renault and Ferdinand. The French, though victorious, also suffered significant losses, with around 170 dead and many injured. Despite the heavy toll, Philip's triumph was absolute. For King John, the consequences were dire. The defeat at Bouvines shattered his hopes of regaining French territories and weakened his already fragile position in England. Faced with mounting discontent among his barons due to the heavy costs of his failed campaigns, John was compelled to sign the Magna Carta in 1215, a historic document that limited the power of the monarchy and laid the groundwork for constitutional governance. The Angevin Empire, once vast and powerful, was effectively reduced to a shadow of its former self. Philip's victory secured his hold over contested territories, consolidating his power and elevating France as a dominant force in Europe. The battle marked the end of English ambitions on French soil for generations. The Battle of Bouvines demonstrated the impact a single battle could have on European history.
It highlighted the effectiveness of a unified French army, Philip's skill as a leader, and the limitations of fractured alliances. More importantly, it reshaped the political landscape of Europe, bringing the Angevin Empire to its knees and strengthening France's monarchy. In the annals of history, Bouvines was not merely a military engagement, but a turning point, a clash that determined the fate of empires, charted new courses for nations, and reverberated across centuries.